I never knew that disability existed. You know, you knew it when you were in school, but you didn't really know what families went through. And then, um, November 13th, 1993, I got into a car accident up on Thomasville Road. I was rear-ended, and I was pregnant with twins. So I went into labor, and I had them prematurely. Matt, Michael just took off, and he was fine. But Matthew stayed delayed. I mean, like, I can say what is going on in my mind right now, face to face with you, use words, and you can understand what I'm saying. But it's not so much like that with Matthew. He can't speak. He can't. He can't even really make facial expressions besides the general happy, sad. There was different places that helped me, but in the day-to-day -day life of a person that has a child with a disability, it's you can't imagine it until you live it. At first I thought that Matthew was so involved that he wasn't going to be able to learn skills. I, flew, I took him to Tampa and Matthew was interviewed, or tested. And from that I discovered that Matthew had been absorbing everything in his world. That he knew it was election year, he knew who the President of the United States was, he knew who, who was running, he knew math concepts that I never even realized that he knew. Then in 1835, listen to this, how do I write 1835? Let's see what happens. 1385 or 1835? Here you need to focus. 1835. This or this? That is 1835. Good. So then I said, okay, here is a child that is just waiting to learn, but does not have the skills, he doesn't have the fine motor skills to do um, sign language. And so I started doing research into Matthew getting a communication device, and lo and behold, Matthew started using the device. All right. Matt, do you want more fries? Yes. What do you want, Matt? I need ketchup. I thought when I went to the school system, the school system was going to be so excited and they were going to embrace this and say, yes, this is how we can work with Matthew now. This is how we can teach him. This is how he'll become independent and he will learn. And instead, I hit black block walls. Every time I turned around, I hit another block wall while I'm them saying that he couldn't do it, even with him doing it. I'm a single parent. I did not have the resources to hire a lawyer, but that's when I found out about Disability Rights Florida. And I called them and they represented Matthew. And they believed in Matthew as much as I did. And that's where such a difference is made. You know, a lot of people would say to me, that's not right what they're doing. None of, the, none of the things that are happening with Matthew are right. Sue, I can't believe this is happening. And then when Disability Rights Florida said that they'd help, it meant everything. We had such a friendship going. They listened to what I had to say. They didn't say that can't be done or he can't learn. He can learn. And he does have a voice now. He has the voice he needs. Matt, what do you want? I want to pick a DVD. Oh, okay, okay. All right, thank you.